beekeeping is one of the oldest forms of agriculture in the world. 153 billion euro worth of food is produced every year by bee pollination. But it also is facing some major challenges across the globe. We've seen in recent years up to 50% of colonies dying. If you have unavailable honeybees, your farm doesn't produce food. And bee-dependent crops are some of the most nutritious foods in our diet. When you want to find out what's going on inside in the hive, the only way you can find out is by removing the lid. And the very act of doing that disturbs the bees. The challenge that beekeepers face is that they're dealing with so many problems simultaneously. Things like starvation or a queen dying, those are very easy problems to solve if you know what's happening. My name is Dr. Fiona Edwards Murphy, and I'm the CEO and co founder of Apis Protect. What we do at Apis Protect is we help the beekeepers to reduce losses and increase productivity in their hives using a combination of Internet of Things and artificial intelligence technologies. We've spent over three years in the field with over 400 beehives across three continents. That's enabled us to build some really interesting machine learning algorithms. We have a sensor technology that's embedded inside in the beehive. We collect things like temperature, humidity and sound. And then we apply our machine learning algorithms to convert that raw data into useful information about what's going on inside in the beehive. We reckon that you can detect a change in the conditions of the hive earlier. And if there's a disease problem, if there's a pest problem, the beekeeper can then address that problem earlier than they would if they were just doing a monthly inspection. We saw the potential that this technology had for beekeepers all across the globe. And we identified venture capital funding as the fastest way to bring our technology to as many beekeepers as possible and get the best product to market as quickly as possible. Protecting our pollinators over the next 20, 30 years has to be a really high priority for everybody in society.